hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this logo reveal animation by using save a plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation as always, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration 30 seconds long and background color I'm going to choose black color, simply hit ok and hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action to get this kind of grid, now I'll press ctrl i on my keyboard, I have this logo file over here, I'll provide the link in the description. I got this logo from freepeep.com so you can do check it out then I'll simply bring this illustrator file over here so this is my logo this logo is available on freepeep okay so after that I'm gonna press control not control but let's select this logo I'll press control shift C to create a pre -comp. move all attributes into the new composition and I'll call it as logo layer and hit ok now double click to open this comp, I'll select this logo, I'll hit ctrl c to copy, go to the main animation and hit ctrl v like this. Ok now go inside this logo, uh, over here uh, what we can do or you can go to the main animation and let's create one ellipse, I'm going to create this ellipse, uh, fill I'm going to choose whatever one because this is gonna act like a mask, so by holding shift I'm going to create one ellipse over here, then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center. Then select this shape layer, hit ctrl D, press V and let's move this shape over here. Hit ctrl D, move this shape over here, hit ctrl D and move this shape over here. Now select all these shape layers, press S and initially let's make the scale 0. Create one keyframe, go to around 4 seconds and let's increase the scale of this like this. Okay, so if you see this now, we will get something like this. Now. Uh, let's move this keyframes over here zoom in a little bit now I want this should start animate one by one so I'll make the difference of few frames like this then select all of the shape layers I'll press ctrl shift c to pre comp this I'll call it as mask and hit ok double click to open this comp so we'll get the shapes then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and I'll apply turbulence displace effect on it so as you guys can see we will get some kind of displacement within the shape so if you hide this layer this is the difference now amount i'm going to choose 200 like this and size i'm going to choose 20. so if i see this i'll get something like this okay so let's go to the main animation now i'll bring my mask over here now select this logo layer go to the track mat you can switch between these options so uh, let's choose track mat and choose alpha mat and let's hide this logo first so if i see this animation over here i'll get something like this okay now uh, what we're gonna do uh, i'll select enable this logo over here right click or uh, you can select this layer go to the layer options and choose auto trace over here uh, make sure the settings are like this current frame zero and apply on new layer should be enabled and simply hit ok so it will create one mask over here now uh, let's go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply saber effect on it so simply double click to apply this effect now after that uh, we will go to the customize course and instead of saber i am going to choose layer mask so after that we will get something like this but this is too much glow over here so over here we will get this option called presets all you need to do simply go over here and for this animation particularly Obviously, there are so many options. You can check out uh, which one is suitable for you. But for this animation, I'm going to choose this bow. As you guys can see, we'll get something like this. Now, instead of the proper red color, I'm going to choose somewhere around like this. A little bit bow look we want. Then, a uh, custom core size, I'm going to choose 0.5 or let's say 0.8. Looks good. And glow intensity let's make this 40 so we'll get something like this and let's make this one again and let's see what we'll get we'll get something like this now let's select this 
and over here start size i am going to choose zero and let's see okay so we'll get something like this and i think glow intensity should be 60 maybe okay we will get this kind of stuff now we will select this logo uh i mean this auto trace layer and uh, we will create one keyframe at start offset and one keyframe at end offset now select this and hit u now as you guys can see there are so many keyframes of this mask but at the end you will get this two keyframes which are start offset and end offset now initially it's a zero and this end offset is 100 so let's make this end offset also zero and go to around let's say 2.20 frames let's make this starts offset 100 and end offset also 100 now select those end offset keyframes like this and we need to move this somewhere around over here and select those keyframes and hit f9 so if i hit play now i'll get something like this so let's make the quarter resolution so it will run properly a little bit faster like this okay so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this now at this point i want my uh, logo should start to reveal before that let's select this uh, and over here you will get this option for mask revelation so simply alt click on the stopwatch and type time into let's say 80 like this and hit u so let's see we'll get something like this now at this point uh, around i want the logo should start to appear so i'll move this over here and we will select this logo this thing and we will uh, hide this uh, logo over here like this or you can simply delete it we don't want that anymore simply select this and in blending mode i'm going to choose screen so we'll get this logo reveal over here or you can simply move this over here also so we'll get this logo animation from the start and now select both the layers i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo animation hit ok hit ctrl d let's uh, move this to 20 frames like this now select this one and, and go to the effect and presets panel and you can apply fill effect on it like this select this color and you can choose with the help of the speaker you can choose the color of this light also let's make this full resolution uh, and let's select something like this color okay so uh, before animating our main logo we will get this color you can select this portion and you can apply glow effect on it like this let's enable this option only and let's increase the glow and increase the glow intensity also like this okay so let's make this fit and if you replay it will take a little bit time to load so let's make this quarter resolution like this okay then at this point i want this glow animation should end so i'll create one keyframe at glow intensity over here and at this point i'll hit a zero okay so if i see this animation i'll get this and then this and then at this point i want the main text of this logo should start to appear so i'll go over here and i'll add whatever text i want i'm going to choose a alphabet obviously you can choose whatever uh, thing you want i'll press control alt home i'll move this over here like this press s and scale it like this okay now let's select those keyframes and i'll go to over here like this okay now after that let's go inside this logo animation i'll uh, go inside this logo i'll select this i'll go to the effect and presets panel i'll search for c uh, cc not cc lens but let's say lens flare maybe and i think uh, instead of here i'll go over here only and right click new and create one adjustment layer and we will apply this lens flare effect on it and we will move this over here 
so this should start animate at this point so let's go move this anchor point over here create one keyframe flare center and hit u go few frame forwards after around over here and let's move this from here to here like this and uh, let's uh, at this point i'll create one keyframe flare brightness hit u go over here create another keyframe go to the start let's make this zero and at this point uh, i'll create another keyframe go over here and let's make this zero again okay like this and right click new and create one null object select all these things and make it apparent with this null one select this null one and let's make this one one zero initially and somewhere around this i'll make this maybe 90 so let's see now okay so we'll get this kind of logo reveal over here so yep this is how you can create simple logo reveal animation with the help of saber plugin so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned